So it looks like it looks like three whiskeys that my homeboy got me here. Check that out. All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Mark here. I knew I should have threw a couple of drinks up inside of me before I turned on this camera so that the words could be more flowing, but it is what it is. I'm getting ready to say my piece, tell my stories and let you guys know what it is. So, we just hit Christmas here in Japan. It's uh 12:30 a.m. now. You know, it hit us before it hit pretty much the the entire rest of the world, with the exception of Australia, of course, beat us to it, them assholes. But it is what it is, and uh, celebrating right now. Been gifted a whole lot of things this week, as of two days ago, and tonight actually. And these are things that I'm getting ready to unbox on camera because I'm curious to see what they are myself, and I guess we're gonna find out what they are together. Some of them I kind of already know what they are and I have an idea what they might be But some of them is just completely uh, up inside the air Long story. I'm gonna try to tell it as quick as I can I was with my boss aka my friend who's uh, been my friend since about 2007 and uh, The last time that I seen this guy was uh, a year ago and we're just now catching up again you know, we're talking some business over dinner. Uh, we're catching up, shooting the shit, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we go to a restaurant in central Tokyo. The name of the station is called Kamiyacho, and the name of the place is called Pepe's. And it's a uh, Italian pizzeria place. It's Italian-owned, and a uh, majority of the staff inside the place is Italian. And they cook the pizza inside of like a wood fire stove, and they make it the proper Italian way, not the... Not the compromised Japanese way, so you don't want to have none of that stuff. You want to have it, you want to have it proper, and this place is it. So there's two of these places, but re just remember, I went to the one at Kamiyacho Station. The hell is all this stuff? This guy is sending me messages while I'm trying to make a video here. All right. Anyways, before I got interrupted, um, so we went to this Italian place. We had dinner. I uh, got a bottle of wine, got some pizza, got some pasta, got a salad, uh, a nice full body uh, bottle of Italian red. Probably the bill set us back about 20,000 Japanese yen. Let's just say uh, for good measure that it would be something like 200 USD. Yeah, with with the Japanese yen tanking, it's probably more like, like 160, who knows, but... Uh, let's just say uh, 200, 200 bones for that. Pretty good meal. Just a four minute walk away from that place on the exact same street is my restaurant, which is called Mistrale. And uh, this restaurant is a French fine dining restaurant. So we step inside of this place after the Italian dinner just to have some dessert and to throw back a few more drinks before we get on the train and head home for the night. Uh, this is the 23rd of December now. So we set foot inside the place, we sit down, uh, order some desserts, order some drinks. Uh, there's two Japanese guys sitting to our right and uh, they speak a little bit of English, enough to carry on a conversation for us to understand them and uh, for us to be understood by them. So, you know, we start chatting up a little bit and uh, my friend, he buys uh, a couple of drinks for them. He asks them what they like, and they say, we like such and such, so he buys some drinks for them. There's probably a whiskey highball, I believe, he bought initially. And then he bought some drinks after that, and then he volunteered to buy a third round of drinks for these guys, and he said, no, 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 it's too much, it's too much. And then he ended up buying those drinks anyways. Uh, we shot the shit. In, until it was closing time, which was 11 o'clock. And, uh, you know, before it hit 11, me and the Japanese guy who I just met to my right, to my immediate right, not, not the other guy, because there's two of them, but just the guy that's sitting closest to me. So I start talking to him, and we're chatting about whiskey for a little bit, and he makes his declaration that 
he likes Japanese whiskey and his favorite is Nika uh, Taketsuru. So he asked me, have I ever tried Taketsuru before? And I said, yes, I love it. And, you know, we start talking about the brand Nika and we start talking about the founder of the brand, uh, Masataka Taketsuru. And, uh, you know, we had a nice little conversation about whiskey and about this guy. And, uh, you know, we had a good night. We had a good conversation. My friend who was with me, not not these guys that I had just met, he he called over the maitre d' and he said, hey, how, how much is uh, these guys' drinks or how much did they, you know, how much do they have to spend on their drinks tonight? And, you know, he told them and whatnot. Uh, he said to the maitre d' just go ahead and put everything that they drank tonight, put all of their drinks on our tab and uh, I'll cover it. And so that was pretty cool. He did that. And then these guys find out by the end of the night, you know, when they have to pay the bill, they're wondering why is it so much cheaper than what they were expecting It's because those drinks disappeared. And I guess the maitre d' had confessed and told them uh, that he had purchased all of the drinks that they had bought that night. So that was completely in the clear. Good conversation, good fun. The guy ended up giving me his business card, which I don't have on me. It's inside the next room over. Anyways, I, I don't need to show that on camera. Yeah, so cover them drinks. My friend who was sitting with me had gifted me something for my birthday because I won't be able to see him on January 4th. So he had gifted these things to me early. It's for my birthday and I guess also it's for Christmas. He has them wrapped up here. I got everything over here. Today, tonight, I go into the restaurant. And uh, there was a gift left for me. And it was from the guy that was sitting to my immediate right. Uh, the guy that likes the Nika whiskey. And I can see. Hold on. Let me show you guys this. I could see through the package what it is. But he left a little message on here. It says, Dear Mark, happy birthday. And it says January 4th, 2023. And it has his name. Uh, T. Hiruma. So, very cool guy that is right there to have gifted me this. If I didn't already say what this is, this is uh, Taketsuru 17 year old uh, whiskey. Haven't opened it yet, just got it tonight. You see, I still got this thing on there just showing that off. So, that's cool. Man, let me finish talking about this restaurant real quick. So, the Mistrale restaurant that we were in. The bill at this place was absolutely unbelievable. Ended up buying champagne for everybody inside of the, uh, just everybody that was sitting inside the restaurant. Bought champagne for everybody. And uh, yeah, the bill on that one, if this even shows up on camera, this is 186,000 Japanese yen. Let's say that this is roughly about... Uh, with the yen tanking, this is probably about 1,500 USD right here. And uh, you guys can see this on the receipt. Let me let me get this up close real quick. Let's just hope that that shows up on camera. All right. So that was a pretty big bill that we've been hit with there. But glad to have gotten this gift from this guy. This is a birthday present, but it's more or less a thank you for us getting those drinks and uh, for these guys and covering the bill, giving them the champagne and just being all around good people. So this is a very nice Christmas gift here. Let me go ahead and uh, pull this thing off. This is the big boy right here. All right, he got this taped on here. Let me just go ahead and break that seal. Nice, nice. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Nika Whiskey it says from Glasgow, 17 years old, pure malt, produced by the Nika Whiskey Distilling Company. Yeah, very beautiful one here. Nice, nice box. Open it up. And look at there, got a whole brand new bottle of Taketsuru Pure Malt. Sitting inside of the velvet. That's how I like it. 
because I'm smooth like that. And uh, this one is a smooth one as well. I may have actually reviewed this inside of my whiskey book. Do I have a copy of that on me? Man, how am I gonna gonna not have a copy of that inside of the room with me? But anyways, I think I reviewed this one inside of my book, 50 Japanese Whiskeys. Make sure that you guys pick that up. That'll be inside of there, along with 49 other Japanese whiskeys. But yeah, this is definitely a good one. Pretty much anything that Nika Whiskey produces, anything that they distill, it's all good, man. There's nothing bad that Nico uh, makes. So there's that. Very happy to have gotten this. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to you. Now, to find out what my friend from Hawaii had got for me. He got me this big bag. Oh, man. Woo! That's heavy. That's, that's a big boy, too. This is a, a Sogo department store bag. One of my favorite department stores in Japan. I can't declare which one is my favorite. I like all of them. I like Takashimaya. I like Sogo. Uh, what is the other one? Maru's. Uh, I don't remember. It's Maru something. I don't remember. Uh, he definitely didn't get this from Sogo. He told me that he brought this from Hawaii. So we got four different coffees from Hawaii inside of this one. And it actually says coffees of Hawaii. Uh, Maui, uh, Molokai, and Kona. So we got a dark roast. They all look like dark roast. What is the difference? Okay. Molokai, Moleskinner. Kona, Nightingale. Uh, oh, man. Pohaku O. Man, I'm I'm gonna mess this up. One from from uh, Maui, and then we got uh, Kalu Kauloa. All right, man, Hawaiian names are so bad. He's still he's trying to help my tongue say these things. But yeah, that's cool. Woo, twenty seven bucks, man. That's a price there for for these. But I'm getting ready to enjoy these bad boys. I you know uh, what was that movie? Pulp Fiction. Uh, Quentin Tarantino's inside of there he says when my wife goes to the grocery store she buys shit but when I go I buy the gourmet stuff because I like to taste my shit when he's talking about the coffee that's exactly me man I I only drink the gourmet stuff because I like to be able to taste my coffee so definitely going to be drinking this expensive stuff there all right all right let's see what else is inside of here I don't think I need to share this with uh, everybody but I think I think this is my monetary funds inside of here. Some some wages. Let's check out that money inside of there. Woo! Oh man, that's nice. That's beautiful. All right. So that's inside of there that my monetary funds. I don't want you guys to know how much it is, but it's adequate. And got a little Christmas card. It says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Man, how the hell do you open up this thing, man? This thing is like sealed. All right, let me. Something you can pull out of here. Oh, pull them out like this. Check that out. Now that's cool. I like that. I like that. That's that's smooth. That's smooth. That's cute. All right. All right. I see you. I see you, Santa Claus, doing your thing. All right, let's go ahead and put that to the side. Let's see what else we got inside this bag. This one right here, Honolulu Cookie Company. Premium shortbread cookies. All right, all right. This is kind of Christmas themed as well. Pretty cool. Man, I'm getting ready to enjoy these things with my coffee. I'm going to be dunking them, man. That's the way you got to do it, son. You got to dunk it. All right. Man, there's still more stuff inside of here. Oh, this is my dessert from last night. They gifted this to me at the restaurant as a happy birthday uh, gift. All right. That's from Mistrale there. Sorry. So we got big boy number one. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's crazy. He listed what it is. Oh, man. I don't want to I don't want to see these tags. I already saw what one of them is. Let me go ahead take all these tags off all these labels off and not not look at that at all son <laughs> it 
So it looks like it looks like three whiskeys that my homeboy got me here. Check that out. Let's go ahead and open up each one and see what they are. Man. All right. Yeah, let me just open up the first one since since I kind of already took a peek at that label and saw what it is. It's one of my favorites from Scotland. Definitely one of my favorites. Oh, it's the McKellen 12 years old Sherry Oak Cask Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Rich, spice, dried fruits. Matured exclusively and hand-picked Sherry Season Oak Cask from Juarez, Spain for richness and complexity. Natural color. All right, man. This is a good one right here. I pretty much like anything coming from McKellen, man. That's, man, that's a pretty penny right there, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Man, that's a pretty penny right there. Yeah, them things don't come cheap. Now, I didn't look at them other labels of what he put on here. He put some post-it notes to these things saying what each whiskey is. So let me see what that is. All right. Oh, we got some champagne. I might have to pop this bubbly today. Ultra Brew Champagne, Laurent Perrier, Mason Fonde, 1812. All right, natural. All right, got some champagne there. Got the bubbly. I'm going to have to drink this with him. Now, actually... He kept talking about Cavassier the whole night, so I'm going to have to bring over the rest of this the next time that I meet him, and we're going to drink this together. Drink the uh, the cognac. That's some good stuff right there. It would be my first time to, dry, to try this brand of champagne, so looking forward to that. All right, all right. Let's see, final package here. Man, he's trying to get me messed up. Man, what is this? Look away. All right. Uh-oh. There we go. Ballantine's Blended Scotch Whiskey. Uh, perfectly balanced and refined. Age 21 years. This ain't the cheap no age statement one that you find inside the supermarket. I'll tell you that. You got the nice uh, heraldry up there. You got the Suntory. You got the Suntory label, uh, you know, what, what do you call this thing? Quality, seal of quality, seal of something. It's a seal to make sure that it's fresh and that if it's broken, it means somebody had already tried to dip into the whiskey. But man, whoo. Yeah, man, I'm trying to get out of the Japanese whiskey and make my way to the scotches now. Two beautiful gifts here. Well, I mean, all three of them are beautiful gifts. Man, a 12-year-old McKellen and a 21-year-old Ballantines. And uh, this is a big boy right here. Is that? Yes, 700 milliliters, 40% ABV on this one right here. A brand that's been around since 1827. And uh, this McKellen right here, let's see. This one is also 40% ABV. So very nice, very nice. When it comes to Scotch whiskeys, it's not about... A high proof for my American people out there. For everybody else inside the world, it's not about drinking a high ABV. It's more about the age is uh, going to uh, give you the flavors that you're looking for. Because the longer you keep it inside the cask, it's going to extract those flavors more and more from the cask, from that wood. And uh, that's going to give the, the whiskey its flavor. So yeah, very excited about this, man. Woo, over two decades of maturation for intensified depth of flavor. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The longer you keep it in the cast, the more intense the flavor is going to be. Very happy about these gifts here. That's essentially everything that was inside of this bag. And uh, I even kept the little, I kept the cork of the Italian wine that we had drank. Is it called Massey? I, I guess that's what it says on there. M-A-S-I. I took a picture of it. 
maybe I'll throw it up on the screen or whatever for you guys to see. Maybe not. But anyways, it was a pretty good uh, Italian wine at the restaurant. It cost about uh, 12,500 Japanese yen. So that was the most expensive thing that we had at the Italian restaurant. And the most expensive thing that we had at the Mistrali was the champagne, the the bottle of champagne. What did we get? Uh, the one that Jay Z doesn't like because they don't they don't serve black people anymore. Uh, Cristal. So we drank a we drank a bottle of Cristal. I should have told them to get the uh, the Dom Perignon, but there was a nice lady that was sitting next to me to my left, or to our left, and I said to her to choose. Out of this set of five different champagnes that was presented to us, uh, which one do you recommend? She ended up choosing the most expensive one that there is out of the five. But, you know, we went ahead and got that and uh, popped bottles for everybody. So had a good time doing that. Anyways, yeah, this nice, cool video here. Celebrate my Christmases. I see the time now is going on 1 a.m. in the morning, but. I'm getting ready to turn off the camera and I'm going to enjoy something around here. Is it going to be the whiskey, which I already got three of them, all of them age statements from two different people. And we got the champagne here. Maybe I just head to bed tonight and uh, wake up and I start doing my whiskey reviews on all of this stuff in the morning. and I start enjoying it then. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. Merry Christmas to you and a happy new year. And I will see you guys soon. And until next time, peace.